Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today's topic in prosthodontics is Objectives of Impression Making. So we have five objectives. The first one is Retention, then Stability, Support, Aesthetics and the last one is Preservation of Remaining Structures. The first three are very much confusing and important that is Retention, Stability and Support. The last two Aesthetics and Preservation of Remaining Structures the name itself gives a self-explanation about it. So we'll be dealing in detail about the first three, retention, stability and support. So let's learn one by one. So we'll start with retention. Okay, so retention is defined as that quality inherent in the processes which resist the force of gravity or adhesiveness of food substances or the forces associated with opening of the jaws okay so it is the quality of that denture to resist the gravitational force that is especially in the maxilla or the foot adhesiveness and also forces associated with mouth opening so it is the ability of danger to resist the displacement against the vertical forces that is a tissue away dislodgement so this is a tissue we have tissue here this is a denture maxilla denture this is a mandible denture okay this is a maxilla denture so it is the ability of the denture to resist the displacement against the vertical force so there will be vertical forces like this like this okay that is tissue away dislodgement so this is the tissue and it is moving away from the tissue so this is mandible and this tissue and the danger is going up that is a tissue away dislodgement that is retention okay don't get confused this is retention that is away it is moving away from the tissue that is from maxilla or mandible so we have retentive forces act through the three surfaces of a denture so we know the three surfaces of denture that first one is occlusal surface then the polish surface then the impression surface okay so these are the three surfaces of a denture and the retentive forces act through these three surfaces okay so through the occlusal surface the force of mastication force of mastication okay then the polish surface there will be muscular forces muscular forces and the last one that is the impression surface which is in contact with the tissue there will be physical forces so these three forces are act through these three surfaces that is occlusal surface polar surface and the impression surface okay so there are uh, many dislodging uh, forces so there are many dislodging forces which is acting on the dentures it could be uh, mastication uh, or adhesive food like uh, pizza or uh, chewing gum or gravity that is a gravitational force but it acts only on the maxilla or the surrounding musculature or it could be occlusal prematurities or it can also be parafunctional habits all these uh, things can dislodge the denture from the tissue okay so that is a retention dislodging forces which is basically against the gravity so there are many factors which is uh, affecting retention it can be classified as primary factors and secondary factors so primary factors and secondary factors primary factors involves physical factors or mechanical factors physical and mechanical whereas the secondary factors 
uh, includes muscular factors, anatomic factors, physiological factors, psychological factors. So all this includes in secondary factors. Okay, so we'll start with the physical factors. Okay, so which involves adhesion, then cohesion, then interfacial surface tension. So interfacial surface tension. Then uh, we have the capillary attraction. Capillary attraction. Then atmospheric pressure. Viscosity. And finally gravity. Okay. So these are the primary factors of retention and the physical factors so adhesion so we'll start with adhesion adhesion is attraction of unlike molecules okay unlike molecules and cohesion is the force between similar molecules or like molecules so adhesion uh, it acts when saliva sticks to the denture base and to the mucous membrane of uh, basal seat okay so there will be uh, adhesion or adhesive force between the denture base and the mucous membrane of the basal seat so this quality of adhesion depends on the close adaptation of denture size of denture bearing area the type of saliva and the direction of displacing force okay so the amount of retention provided by the adhesion is directly proportional to the area covered by denture so if you have more area maxilla will be having more retention compared to mandible because mandible surface area is less compared to maxilla okay so similarly patients with small jaws or very flat alveolar ridges cannot expect uh, good retention uh, compared to the patients with large jaws or prominent alveoli okay so the most adhesive saliva is thin serous okay thin serous saliva will be most adhesive one uh, whereas the thick saliva is very adhesive but tends to build up so that it is too thick in palatal area and which further interferes with the oral adaptation so always the thin serous mucosa will be uh, best for the maximum retention so it is a force between uh, or the physical attraction of unlike molecules and it acts when saliva sticks to the denture base and to the mucous membrane okay now we have cohesion cohesion is the force between like molecules or similar molecules that is it is occurs within the layer of fluid or within saliva it is a molecule same molecules within saliva so if it, it is uh, present between the denger base and mucosa but uh, the normal saliva is not very cohesive so therefore most of the retentive forces of denture uh, mucosa interface come from the adhesive and the interfacial surface tension so these two are the main retentive force because the cohesion or cohesive forces too low uh, for saliva so we are mainly uh, taking the retentive force from adhesion and interfacial surface tension okay so so just take an example so we have a substrate here and we have adhesive in between okay so the adhesive force or the adhesion is between the substrate and the adhesive that is happening here okay this 
unlike molecules that is a substrate is one and the adhesive the second one that is a different different molecules but the cohesive forces within the adhesive this is the same molecule these are same molecules so the force between these two is a cohesive force and between these two is the adhesive force that is the difference okay so cohesive force is two less for saliva with respect to our denture so we are mainly focusing on the adhesive force and the interfacial surface tension so the next one is interfacial surface tension it is a resistant a resistance to separation of two parallel surface that is uh, imparted by a film of liquid between these two okay so this is a film of liquid between two parallel surface so that is the uh, resistance for separation of these two so this is commonly we see when we have two uh, plane surfaces just like uh, glass and we have a thin layer of uh, liquid in between these two uh, the force which we apply to uh, separate this is very greater than if the water is not present in between okay so that is the interfacial surface tension so this role of surface tension is through the capillary attraction okay so there will be capillary attraction capillary force between these two so when the adaptation of denture base to mucosa is sufficiently close the space filled with a thin film of saliva act like a capillary tube so this is a bone and we are adapting the denture very close to the bone or maxilla or mandible the saliva within this two act like a capillary tube okay and this liquid which seeks to increase its contact with both the denture and mucosal surface so there will be a capillary action and increased surface tension because of the presence of saliva okay so that is why the adhesive force and interfacial surface tension are very much crucial for the retention not the cohesion okay so that is the third one uh, interfacial surface tension uh, we also talked about uh, the capillary attraction because it both comes in same concept and the next one is atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure uh, which resist uh, dislodging forces to denture with an effective seal okay because no air entrapped between the fitting surface of the denture and the mucous membrane so it is uh, called nothing but suction that is a resistance to removal from the basal seat and uh, sixth one is viscosity saliva is drawn into a space being created beneath the denture okay so it gives a valve like action of the soft tissue it depends on the saliva quality that is uh, consistency and quantity we already spoken thin serous saliva is very good compared to thicker one okay and the last one is gravity so it it acts like a retentive force for the mandibular uh, denture but it is a displacive for the maxillary denture okay so these are the uh, physical factors uh, for the retention now we have the mechanical factors mechanical factors uh, first one is surface area okay surface area of the denture uh, base that is as it increases the peripheral seal uh, it will increase the adhesion uh, so there will be more retention then the shape of polished surface shape of polished surface so this is shape of polished surface and teeth positioning uh, in the neutral zone will give more retention we already studied what is neutral zone where the uh, forces are being neutralized from the cheek, cheek and uh, lip forces which is counterbalanced by the tongue uh, muscle forces so shape and polished surface at the neutral zone then the undercuts undercuts uh, modest undercuts and less severe ones increases retention okay not the very severe one modest ones increases retention the most common 
undercuts are uh, lateral tuberosities lateral tuberosities then uh, maxillary premolar area maxillary premolar area then the distolingual areas and lingual mandibular uh, mid body areas all are uh, undercuts which gives more retention so that is a mechanical factors then the denture extension denture extension denture extension the border should be extended properly to increase the surface area and the peripheral seal it should not be too much beyond the uh, peripheral palatal seal or uh, the two third of this retromolar part it will give proper retention so these are the mechanical factors that is coming under primary retentive factors uh, then we have uh, factors affecting retention that is anatomical factors which is coming under secondary anatomic factors that is the size of the denture bearing area quality of denture bearing area palatal vault soft palate tongue size interarch distance ridge form then physiological involves the saliva quantity and its quality so muscular factors uh, we talked about the neutral zone so that is all about retention now let's move on to the uh, second one that is uh, stability so retention is the ability to resist the gravitational force the second one is stability so stability is nothing but uh, resistance against the horizontal forces okay horizontal forces retention was vertical forces horizontal forces so it is a resistance of a denture to movement on its tissue foundation especially to the lateral or horizontal forces so the quality of denture to be firm steady or constant to resist the displacement by functional stresses and not to be subject to change of position when force is applied it is nothing but the ability of the denture to withstand the horizontal forces okay so the retention was tissue away forces it was like this that is a gravitational forces this is in the horizontal direction so what are the factors affecting stability similarly we have many factors in uh, stability just like retention the one is uh, retention quality the vertical height of the residual ridge then the quality of soft tissue covering the ridge occlusal plane quality of the impression teeth arrangement contour of the polished surface ridge relation then proper relief of hard areas width of occlusal table so all are affecting the stability okay so if we have uh, retentive force okay retentive force greater than the displacing force with good support okay support we haven't learned yet it will give good stability that is a concept okay so if you have good retentive force with adequate support it will give good stability then the vertical height if we have more vertical height it will be good stability lesser vertical height less stable okay so that is about stability now let's move on to the third one that is support okay the next one is support so support it is the resistance to vertical forces of mastication and to occlusal or other forces applied in a direction towards the basal seat okay so that is like this that is tissue word forces this was tissue away forces and that was retention okay so tissue word forces is support 
and the lateral forces is stability so this is a concept retention support and stability retention is tissue away forces tissue towards forces is support and lateral forces is stability so support is nothing but the resistance to vertical force of mastication and to occlusal or other forces which is being applied towards the basal seat okay like this towards the basal seat this is the basal seat this is the maxilla this is the mandible so when the natural teeth are missing the alveolar ridge and their covering of mucosal tissue become the supporting elements okay so these are the supporting elements so we can divide the supporting area into primary supporting area and secondary supporting area so the primary and secondary the primary are uh, area of edentulous ridge which are at right angle 90 degree angle uh, the, sub, the ridge part of the ridge which is at my right angle to the occlusal force and areas which is not resorbed easily such as the dense cortical bone and areas which is covered with keratinized mucosa whereas the secondary uh, supporting areas involves the area of edentulous ridge which is not resorbed easily uh, again the dense cortical bone and uh, again the keratinized mucosa but the problem is here the occlusal forces would not be at right angle okay it will not be at right angle so this is nothing but primary stress bearing area and this is secondary stress bearing area so this is a concept the retention so this is a retention this is the support and this is a stability so it act like this if we have good retention, good support and good stability, there will be perfect denture. Okay. And the fourth one, aesthetics. For, for aesthetics, uh, the thickness of the denture flanges is one of the important factors that gives uh, good aesthetics. Thicker denture flanges uh, are preferred in long-term edentulous patients to give required label fullness. So, we need to take impression perfectly to reproduce the width and height of the entire circles uh, entire sulcus for the proper fabrication of the uh, flanges okay and the last one we have the preservation of structures preservation that is uh, preservation of that which remains is of utmost importance and not the meticulous replacement of that which has been lost so this was stated by D. Van in 1952. Okay. So he said the preservation that which remains is of utmost importance and not the meticulous replacement of that which has been lost. So impression should record the details of the basal seat and peripheral structures in an appropriate form to prevent injury to the oral tissues so that is all about the objectives of impression making so we learned about uh, retention uh, support stability aesthetics and preservation of structures so retention was a uh, uh, much uh, detailed uh, one because it has uh, many factors uh, such as uh, adhesion coercion interfacial surface tension then the capillary action atmospheric pressure everything and again the secondary factors then the stability it is a horizontal force then support it is a tissue word force okay and uh, the aesthetics and the preservation of structures so the retention support and stability is most repeatedly or commonly asked uh, question uh, it could be asked as a short note or short essay or long essay long essay will be as objectives of impression making Okay, hope you understood this concept. So I'll come up with a new topic in prosthodontics. Thank you.